There, that looks better. I'm recording this for YouTube. And I'm doing live on TikTok. I'm just getting set up right now. We're gonna be invoking the goddess Venus, the goddess of love and beauty which is the deity that I work with, and her son, Cupid. So if you have any requests for love, now would be the time. I'm just getting this tripod for my YouTube at a good angle. There that, I like that. You can see everything. It's still kind of like lopsided. All right, let's go ahead and start by making her a drink. This is my enchanted mirror. It's really weird how this came to me. I was driving home one day and it was right before payday and I was going to buy this wicker couch and I had it in my cart and I was really gonna buy this couch and it was like $300. And I was just waiting for my paycheck to hit in order to buy this couch. And um, I, it was a beautiful day so I decided to take the long way home which I don't ordinarily do. And the same wicker couch that I had in my basket, perfect condition was outside with this mirror and there was a sign that said free, take it. So I stopped and I said, are you sure that you wanna give this wicker couch away for free? And he said, yeah, but you have to take the mirror. I said, well, I don't want the mirror. I have no use for the mirror. And he said, well, you have to take the mirror. And we, we got into a little argument. I was like, I can take the couch, but not the mirror because I have no use for it. And then he's like, well, here's $20. So he gave me $20, a wicker couch and this mirror. And I took it home and it sat in my garage for a while and then I heard a voice coming from it and it told me that I need to work with the deity goddess Aphrodite, which I always did work with on this mirror and start a uh, YouTube channel called Enchanted Mirror Tarot. So I drank a little bit of this, it's cupcake, Rosé, sparkling wine. I'm going to give the goddess some. Um. It's... Where's my bottle? Sorry, I'm just looking for things. We're just getting started, so things are slow. Oh, I have some cards here. I have the Lover's Oracle. I have Work Your Light. I love this stuff. This is my favorite deck, but I usually get in trouble whenever I use it, but I love using this deck. Hi, Andrea. Hi. Hi, um, Brenda Pimentel91. Hi, welcome. Yeah, this is my favorite deck. This is like a custom deck. It's so beautiful, but I usually get in trouble whenever I use it because it has nudes, and um, YouTube doesn't like nudes, and... TikTok doesn't like it either. I have the Muse. I love this stack. This is my newest stack. This is Mystic Melodies. I have 104 tarot decks all together. My most expensive is $400. This is a custom deck. These are cool. They're etched in silver. 
I've been reading tarot since I was 14. I'm uh, going to be 39 February the 21st. This is... Yeah, I'm not, I don't really want to go live with anybody right now. Um, this is love and lust. We're going to be doing a, a ceremony to the goddess Venus and the god Cupid. But yeah, this is, this is a really cool deck. This one also gets me in trouble. These two right here get me into a lot of trouble. This is what I was looking for. That's my own little concoction. And he matches. I love this deck. This is one of my favorite decks too. It's the Bride's Tarot. This is an awesome deck. This is really, really beautiful. I really resonate with this one. It's one of my favorites. I've done a lot of readings with that one. I have way more cards, but these are the ones that I just randomly pulled just now. So I'm going to put these to the side. And then we have two decks that are always on my altar. We have the Vintage Tar um, Oracle that's always on my altar. And there's also um, my handmade tarot deck that's kind of like one of those trends that you see everybody else doing. Well, I did it too. I didn't mind before anybody else, really, <laughs> because I've been doing this for so long. But, um, yeah, that's over there, and that's always with the goddess. So I'm going to give... I'm going to give the goddess a little bit of this. Yeah, I've been working um, with Goddess Venus Aphrodite under her different names since I was eight years old. I have some rosemary leaves and some vanilla that I want to add. I don't want to forget. So I'm going to put those there because I don't want to forget them. I have a rosemary smudge. Um, I'm, I'm actually doing rosemary smudge instead of sage now. Okay. All right, let's give her a couple of drops of sandalwood. in her offering cup. And this is a Sri Yantra um, on my channel. I have a whole playlist dedicated on my YouTube channel. I have a whole de pit playlist dedicated of why I use the Sri Yantra. I'm gonna use a little shishi oil. My favorite company is Art of the Root. I'm using my tripod from my other camera, so this one's like kind of crazy. Cause I'm using my hands to kind of do it. So I apologize. Let's give her a little Jasmine. And we will be uncovering her. I just gave her some Jasmine. Oh, oh good, I'm taping. <laughs> Some Rose Otto. She loves this. Oh, it's hard to get out there. Venus level oil. That's what I'm looking for. I have so much stuff. 
She wants a little rosemary. I'm going to give her some rosemary. I already have her um, offering plate ready to be burned. Okay, so I'm going to Oh, uh, let's do a little fame and fortune. I love the smell of this. This is bad. Here it is, Venus Love Oil. So we have the wet offering done. I normally do a little bit of cream, but I already have cream in her offering plate. So that's why that's happening. All right, so let's open her up. Are you guys ready? She is. Isn't she beautiful? The goddess Venus. And her son Cupid. The god Eros. The goddess Aphrodite. I spent some time alone with her. Hi, I'm not Natalie, 2X. We are doing a ceremony to invoke the goddess Aphrodite and her son, the god Cupid. If she wants to do readings after we invoke her, you know, that's fine, but um, I'm not in charge because she's a goddess. She's an ancient goddess. She's been worshipped for at least 50,000 years, if not more. So, you know, it's all up to her. It's not up to me. We're invoking her. I'm going to do my best for you guys, you know, but um, this is all about the goddess. Okay, so I want to give her a little bit of vanilla bean. I don't want to give her the whole thing. These were... Um... Give her that much. I'm putting it in her incense. I already have that and we're going to do a little rosemary in her incense as well. All right. 
So we are going to 